Hey y'all, good morning. Remember, breathe, relax, check, check for signs of dry cough, fever of 100.4, and shortness of breath. And then check on your loved ones, check on your mom, your dad, and most importantly, you know what? Check on each other to make sure we're okay. It's, it's been a while, but we're getting through this. We have a new normal that we're adjusting to. So let's take a step back. Uh, lately, we've been hearing a lot about drugs and potential therapies and all these different things that uh, can give us a beacon of hope uh, for this current COVID-19 crisis. But we need to have the understanding that for right now, there exists no vaccine, there exists no cure. The only evidence-based methods that we know are staying at home, social distancing, covering our face to reduce the amount of virus uh, in the atmosphere so we can't transmit it to, to others with our respiratory spittle. But again, they're talking about a thing called clinical trials. This is a process of how a drug safely can be gen given to the population all across the world. It goes from the bench work uh, in animals to humans. There are three main phases that we talk about. There's phase one for the first time in humans. It's about 10 to 20 healthy individuals and they monitor and see how the drug is tolerated, uh, any issues, any danger that it might cause. Uh, and then we can progress to phase two. Phase two is typically between 100 to 500 people uh, that they, they test for safety and efficacy to see if the, is the drug safe uh, and how effective it might be. Once it gets to phase, past phase two, it goes to the third main phase and it's phase three. Then we take it, we take the drug or the medical intervention and we scale it up. It could be anywhere from a thousand to five thousand to possibly even more, especially with the case of uh, COVID-19. There's so many volunteers. These are all volunteers uh, that sign up to be a part of the trial. And once it gets to phase three, we start refining doses to make sure um, that patient, that it's doing what it's predicted to do. Uh, and that it's safe to move on to phase four to release to the general population. And then of course, phase four, there are other studies that go on to check for its effectiveness. Um, it's a long process. It could take five to 10 years. It's absolutely amazing the speed, the hope that we have. Every time we hear about a new drug, um, we hear about compassionate use of drugs in patients that are currently being treated, but then we have to read and look between the lines and see the the things that are reported are observational or anecdotal, same thing for observational, meaning that people in, that are actually treating patients are seeing these and reporting their findings, but it's all part of the clinical process. The only way that we're gonna get safe medications, a safe vaccine is to go through this clinical trial process. The process normally can take between five to 10 and sometimes even more years. We're trying to condense it. Even Dr. Fauci is saying that it could be anywhere from 12 months uh, to 18 months, which is a great thing. That's awesome because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to herd immunity. Remember, we talk about herd immunity, 70 to 90% of the general population will be immune or will be uh, resistant, will not be affected by the disease circulating in our population of human beings, because this is the first time, remember, um, because of natural immunity, because they've lived through the disease and recovered and they have the protective mechanisms that antibodies, or we have a vaccine. Once we have a vaccine, we can ensure public safety. We can get back to some semblance of normal that we had, but folks understand we're gonna to have to adapt to a new COVID normal and be patient. That's our clinical trials. I have an article attached up top. I have an amazing, amazing video, an explainer video about what clinical trials are. And of course, I want you, if you're having any symptoms or any questions, use the CDC coronavirus self-checker and follow the instructions. Uh, I'm here with you. We got this. We're doing a good job of social distancing. Remember, breathe, check, check the self-checker, read the article about the COVID-19 drugs and clinical trials, and then also look at the video, check on your mom and dad, hi mom, hi dad, hi friend, hi whoever, just check on each other, and remember, step back, because we got this. We're fighting, and we got this. We got this. Have a good day.